Hey, I'm Laura Daniel and welcome to Laura Loves New York. I'm here in the AMC Theater in Times Square for the New York premiere of Bali Beats of Paradise by director Livy Zhang. Hi, I'm Livy Zhang, the director of Bali Beats of Paradise. And it's super cool. I'm also going to meet Grammy Award winner Judith Hill, who created the song Queen of the Hill. Holla if you see me coming. I'm the brand new Queen of the Hill. Mm, so good. Bali Beats of Paradise recently had its world premiere at the Academy of Arts and Sciences in LA. And then they brought the film to New York City and I got to sit down and ask them about it. So last year the Indonesian consulate in Los Angeles asked me to cover a concert about Balinese Gamelan. When I arrived in the concert it was full house and we got a lot of press coverage. Uh, both locally and internationally, and at that moment, I realized, okay, I really have to make this a feature film. Oh, wow, just amazing. And Judith, how did you get involved with this piece? Well, I was actually looking to collaborate with um, Gamelin artists because I was putting together a, a play of mine that talked about bringing the world together through song and different cultures coming together. It's always been a passion of mine. So I met Livy through a mutual friend and we just hit it off and she started to talk about how she's putting together this incredible film and invited me to be a part of it. And so it, it ended up being an awesome collaboration because it was exactly what I wanted. I got to meet Pal Winton, which was incredible. And we got to like, learn more about Gamelin and then also be challenged to um, stretch out and, and find a collaboration in my world. Being an artist is not really easy. A lot of up and down, 14 hours every day. But this is my dream. It's, it's hard to separate the life without music and dance for us. Dance and music is like food to our soul. I like to introduce the art of music and dance of Bali to the world beyond Bali. So Gamelan actually has been used in a lot of Hollywood films such as Avatar by James Cameron, also the TV show Star Trek. So a lot of people probably have heard Gamelan, but they haven't seen it. So I hope through this film more people will know that Gamelan is from Indonesia and enjoy it and learn it. I would jump in in little spots where I feel like I could handle it, <laughs> but <laughs> it was more of just about let the dancers do that, and, and um, they taught me a few movements and really like showed me what to do. It's like one thing that was huge for me was like they told me you don't blink. <laughs> like, wow, I realized how many times I actually blink, and these people, these women, they just they control of their eyes and mm. the command, and it's just so much detail, and it's it's a, it's a definitely an art. Yeah. <laughs> What made you decide to shoot the video in Joshua Tree? Actually, in Joshua Tree, there is uh, the place called Lou Harrison House. It has connection with Gamelan history in America. That's why we picked that place. And it's named, and it was built by an American composer named Lou Harrison, who was a contemporary of John Cage, and they kind of invented percussion music on break drums, and they did a lot of significant things. In 1976, he totally fell in love with Javanese gamelan. Mm, and then, and the then music. that's what he studied, and he built Javanese-style instruments and composed for them. And I was his gamelan teacher, and kind of arranger for like 25 years. Wow. It's strange, because you can't play gamelan by yourself. It's a group music, it's a music of relationships between people. In the film, Wenton says it's led by the drum, and there's tons of percussion instruments, from metal to wood to gong. One of the great things about Javanese music is you just write a melodic framework, and then all the players make up their own parts. Wow! So, you know, by listening to each other. What I love in Judith's song is the combination of funk with this old school traditional music. It's like the music video is like this beautiful box, mm -hmm. but inside of it is the story about Wenton and about Bali. Yep. And yep. all these, and how he learned as a little boy. Oh, I, mean, it's I just love so adorable. that. I love that scene. So I'm, you know, I think everyone's hoping that this will extend the world's connection to Balinese and Indonesian art. Crazy rich Asians put Singapore on the map. 
So we hope that Bali Beach of Paradise will put Indonesia and Bali on the map. It's a very exciting journey to see what we'll come up with and how we can create that world. I get the idea to make a music video with not only 100, 200, 1,000, but a million people. Uh, to have a million views. Valley Beats of Paradise is up for consideration for an Academy Award, and it's in theaters across the country. Thank you so much. Yay!